Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Shaynis, and as you can see, the hood popped behind me. It means we're gonna be doing stuff to the car. Uh, the first thing for the New Year is we're gonna finish up the oil catch can. And just like that, the catch can project has been put on hold because we stripped a bolt. Luckily, I have a backup, so let's get straight into that. So one thing I've been meaning to do is upgrade my fog lights. You've seen that obviously I've done the daytime running lights slash high beams and the low beams with those all Silver Star uh, Ultras. The one thing that I've been wanting to do is do something nice and brighter for the fog lights. And what better thing to try to test out than brand new LED headlight bulbs. Now, for those of you guys that have been following my channel, you probably already know that I have done LED headlight bulbs before on a Scion XB. And I wasn't too impressed with the overall reach. They are much brighter, obviously. However, I feel that halogens and LED lights to that extent, I'm sorry, and HID lights to that extent have a much longer reach than LEDs. However, for fog light bulbs, especially because they don't have the projector dome to cut off the uh, light beam, um, I feel like they should be better. So we'll find out. But let's unbox these. I got these off Amazon. It's an aux beam brand. Um, now the reason why I bought these is there's something really special that these do, which I'll be showing you. There are other name brands out there, um, some that I found that were even twice the price, uh, but these were more of a reputable one because there's obviously cheaper options. All right, and right now, as you can see, I took off the top. Nice little artwork. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but you know it's kind of that clear, really nice kind of paper. Some instructions, and then the beauties themselves plug and play everything you need now for those of you guys who uh, kind of are a little more techie you'll see something unique about these bulbs right off the bat um, and I'll give you a clue it's the two shades of color that you see right there and that's kind of a dead giveaway of why these are special so let's try to get these installed now again I'm not gonna go over this but you're able you're supposed to remove the bumper to make it easier for you for those of you that have smaller hands you might be able to just deal with taking um, or pulling uh, the fender lining to get to the bulbs. But for those of you that don't know, the bulbs that come stock, or the bulbs that you'll need, at least for a Veloster Turbo, um, my camera won't focus, so gosh darn it. Whatever, they're H8 bulbs. H as in happy, eight. So when you buy these, you'll notice that they have the uh, designation that H8, H9, and H11 all work. The main reason isn't so much the plug, it's actually uh, how they snap in. I know that this camera is being blurry, but so the main reason why they state that H8, H9, and H11 work, it's how they plug in. And if you see these little prongs, um, I know this camera for some reason is an autofocus now. Well, there you go. But you see how there's three prongs, how when you put it in, you twist and it'll clip in. Um, for the most part, those are compatible for all three bulbs. Uh, what's going to differentiate is depending on your car, how they plug in. So I'm going to see how this kit works, but it looks like it has the correct plug more or less I'm trying to show you guys but it looks like this kit in general has the exact same plug so uh, it should be plug and play without any kind of converter um, however um, I ordered these on Amazon and they did give us a set of uh, uh, plug adapters so I, we might not need them which is good news now as is the case with all aftermarket bulbs um, one of the big things that I always say that you want to go with uh, specific decent good LED bulbs is you'll know because they'll have um, a ballast of such sort, like this, much like HID kits have. Another cool thing about this kit is this base right here, depending on if it's uh, gonna stick out too much from your dust cover or not, you can actually reverse it. Uh, so this heat sink, you can basically flip it around to be the way it is right now, or have this bulgier part up at the top. Um, so yeah, that's kind of one cool thing about this design. Um, also, there's an l keys portion right here, this little hole, and that's basically to adjust uh, the rotation of this bulb, so that way the reflectors um, are giving you the maximum output of the uh, LED light itself. So, uh, right, so we're gonna mess with this a little bit, make sure that it's uh, put in as best as possible, and then um, I will compare it to, you know, the halogens and show you how these work. Another thing is in the kit itself, they included a little l key for that adjustment that I was just mentioning. So. You pretty much have everything straight out of the box. Again, unless your car has some kind of special connection type, uh, you're obviously gonna have to mess with that a bit, but um, so far it looks like it's gonna be plug and play. All right, so it's installed, at least one side is. And as you can see, obviously, the LED beam is quite nicer and wider than the headlight. Now, you can really only tell this difference during the day. 
um, as far as like the yellow of the headlight from the Silver Star as opposed to LED because the LED is obviously a cooler white. At nighttime, unless you compare it next to HIDs, that headlight color actually looks very nice and white. Um, right now, obviously, it looks a nasty yellow. We'll do something about that eventually in the future. But for now, we got fog lights. So let's get the other side installed and see how that works out. All right, and then this side is in and working. And then we have, <laughs> then we have this other side working. So we are pretty much good. And the parting piece of this particular LED kit, and one of the reasons why I wanted to try it out, and one of the reasons why I got it, and I'll have our good friend Subi Lu over here show us and demonstrate. And off, on. Whoo! So these are switchback LEDs. Uh, they basically go to a very orangish amber yellow, uh, but it's still an LED. And as you can see, this side as well. So one of the complaints that I had read about it is that some people are kind of upset that it's not as like a JDM yellow as they'd like it to be. Um, I'll obviously test it out at night. Right now, I won't lie to you, it looks yellow on camera, but it looks more amberish to the eye. I mean, it does look yellow, but it does have kind of like an orange tint. I could definitely see that. So uh, for you guys in the video, let's fast forward to nighttime so you guys could see it. But let's just do the switch back one more time so you guys could see it go back to white. And the cool thing is, all you have to do to do that is just turn on and off real quick the uh, fog lights, whether you do it from the collar button or by turning on and off the headlights. Oh, oh, there we go. See, we just did that one by just turning on and off the fogs. Ooh, part two. Just woke up from a nap. So we're gonna see how these things do in, at nighttime. All right, we're gonna let her warm up and then we will go about and check out these lights. All right guys, so we are coming up on the uh, a stretch of road that I tested out the headlights on last time. Uh, my window is open just because it's kind of warm right now, but um, this is like a really dark road that I normally like to use. Uh, these are just the headlights that you're noticing. The fog lights are actually completely off. Um, one thing that you're gonna notice right when, uh, sorry, it's bumpy if my voice sounds weird. One thing you're gonna notice once I do this U-turn is the fact that um, immediately you notice that the lights don't match the headlights because again, I'm using standard halogen headlight bulbs, uh, whereas these uh, fog lights are LEDs. But they do the job, they're really bright white. So I'm gonna make this U-turn right now and then I'm gonna turn them on so you can notice it. So here's the U-turn. And obviously we're in some ambient light because of that light post. Let me just scoot up a little bit. All right, well, so here he goes. Here's the fog lights on. So I don't know if you could tell. You probably can't because the camera doesn't really capture the color, but the fog lights are on. I'm gonna turn them off real quick. Oh yeah, you could tell. All right, cool. And then there's the switchback mode. So right now the fog lights are yellow. Um, and that's kind of neat because you just turn them on and off and then you get that yellow color. So I'm gonna turn them on again to go back to the uh, the white. Let me see if uh, you can tell. Okay. So, oh yeah, see? So they were yellow. Now, there's the cool white LED right there. And then when you turn them on and off, there you go, you get that yellow hue. So they work as expected and they have the same reach as the uh, standard halogen fog lights. So overall, I'm quite impressed. They're, uh, they're really cool, and they definitely did the job that they set out to do. So um, I was kind of holding the camera in the middle so you guys can notice. This is the driver's position. So again, I'm gonna switch them. There you go, yellow. Um, I'll show you guys on the outside now to, you know, so you guys can see what they look like. But I'm really, really impressed with these. Really overall happy. All right, so it's nighttime. Forgive my car for being extremely dirty, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is what it looks like at night. You can see it's got a cool blue tint. And like I mentioned, the headlights, while you can tell that they are yellow or yellowish as opposed to the fog lights, um, you know, they're actually quite white as far as where the uh, headlight is hitting. They're not as yellow as you can see 
um, looking straight at the projector. But they're really nice. One really cool thing that I really appreciate about this is you probably can't tell because it's blinding as far as the camera is picking it up. But if you've ever seen an LED bulb, um, like I showed you earlier, they have, so if you're looking at it straight like this, there are uh, LED chips on this side. So the LED chips are laid out as if the inside of the palm had LED chips, and then the outside of the palm or your hand have LED chips. So top to bottom, there's nothing. So basically light shining this way and light shining the opposing way. And so that's why um, earlier I mentioned you could adjust the bulbs. Basically the L key so you can adjust the beam pattern. So in case whenever you pop in the, the bulb, uh, the beam pattern is kind of scattered or not focused, you can adjust the way the bulb sits. Nice thing is the first time we put in these bulbs, uh, they were perfect. So the LED chips were facing the left and right side as they should. So that way you get uh, the best possible light, light output. Now, again, I'm showing you what it looks like. Now if we flip them off and then flip them back on, there we go, switch back yellow. And they look really yellow as far as the video is concerned. However, I'm going to be completely honest with you. They are not as bright yellow as I would have liked them. They look very much more like, um, they're not as bright to be honest. Um, I was expecting more. If anything, they look kind of like a weak halogen uh, bulb that's coated in yellow. So even the uh, Nokia bulbs that are my daytime running lights slash high beams produce a higher output as far as the yellow beam is concerned. However, again, when I'm driving, it outputs the light the way it should. The only reason that I'm making that complaint is because looking at them face to face, you can't see it on the camera, but if you're looking at it directly, it looks as if they were dim. It's not as blinding as the white. So that's, I guess, a complaint for those of you who are gonna try to do this for show or you want you know, opposing traffic or people to see that you have super bright yellow LEDs. Um, honestly, it looks like it's just a halogen. But as far as functionality, functionality 100%, as you can see, there's the yellow. And it just keeps on you know, shining until it blends out. So functionality, they do their job. The LED is lighting the road the way it should. Um, it's just when you look directly at it, it's not blinding like the white, as I'm gonna show you again. So, yeah. So in this, you can immediately tell it's an LED bulb. Um, it's actually even wider than the uh, headlight um, halo accents, um, as you can tell. See how it's kind of bluer? So it's quite bright. It's a cool, crisp blue-white. And again, you can tell the light pattern out, out beam, out beam, I don't know what the, <laughs> the beam output until it you know fades out because again, it's fog lights. They're not meant to be headlights going as far out. So yeah, overall, I'm very impressed with this product. It was a really good buy for the price. I bought these on Amazon with Prime for about $52 and some odd change. And I am overall happy with the switchback functionality um, and just the overall output when it's on the uh, white beam. Uh, thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was informative. Um, again, there are other brands out there. I know one of the popular LED brands is uh, LAS Light or something like that, Last Light. I'll, I'll put the correction in the uh, video. And then there's another one called Novlight um, that's uh, more of a Chinese brand. I will tell you this one thing that I noticed, Novlight and these aux beams are the identical bulb. So whoever manufactures those, it's the same company. The only difference is One's got the Aux Beam uh, logo stamped on it, like these, and the other one has the other branding and obviously the different boxes. Um, the LAS uh, brand, uh, again, I'm not sure if that's correct, um, they ran for about $100. So I know it's a more dependable brand, but again, um, I mean, that's just, I'll let you guys know an update if these, if these bulbs are unreliable or if I have any issues. But overall, for the price, um, I'm really happy with them. They work perfectly. Um, and for LED bulbs, uh, they're really good, especially for fog lights. I have yet to find a pair for headlights that I'm gonna be happy with as far as uh, beam outreach, but I'm still on the hunt, so when I find something, you know, I'll definitely let you guys know, hey, I'm satisfied with this product and I, you know, give my seal of approval. All right, guys, thank you so much. And actually, look what came in. So this weekend's Super Bowl Sunday, so uh, I'll try to obviously sneak a quick video of this since I'm probably not gonna have time to do a lengthy install. But yeah, come back.